next catalyst for Canada uh, are the infused products uh, and where consumers will finally get the products they want. Uh, and then, you know, in Canada specifically, Ontario retail, our largest market has had a terrible rollout um, with a lottery system and like, you know, it's hard. Do you think Canada is facing a massive overproduction? Yeah, you know, I mean, for us, we've invested a lot in domestic production because you are still ring fence. It's very hard to cross borders, so you need enough domestic supply. If we can hit oversupply, it re it's, a, it's an industry really reset. Fancy. Who has the best manufacturing formulation brands? And so we're really excited about that. What do you want to wager? What's the over-under on oversupply in Canada? Uh, there'll be oversupply, but it won't affect the black market. What I find most exciting and what gives us the energy to keep driving in this business is that not only is the world moving to legalization, but the acceleration at which it, it moves um, is, is riveting. Are you bullish on beverage? Well, I'm going to take, uh, I'm gonna take a, uh, uh, an opposite, a contrarian view here on, on beverages is, you know, I'm enjoying a coffee, but I can do an infused coffee, but really cannabis I think is best inhaled, not smoked, best inhaled. And so if I want to use cannabis and coffee, I'll have, I'll have my coffee and I'll enjoy some cannabis with it. I don't need to, it's, it's not complicated. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, the market will decide. And now for something completely different. My dream, lifelong dream, was to own a Ferrari as a child. And I learned driving in Italy that Italian police, and I had many people confirm this, and I can confirm going through radar traps, that Italian police will not ticket a Ferrari at a national pride. What a beautiful thing. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Great, well thanks a lot. Thanks, John. Take care.